Doctors do this without asking. It's traumatic. Membrane sweet, strip. If your pregnancy is not complicated, you absolutely don't. Since when that the condition oftentimes lead to C-section. However, what life taught me, this exact procedure to go into spontaneous labor, to avoid induction. Guys, I opted out both times. Let me finally tell you why. I was offered and maybe even pushed to do a membrane sweep with my first. That's actually a very common practice. It's not something that is necessary at all. Here I'm just giving my opinion and my experience. I just feel called to share this. Membrane sweeps are painful and it's something that can lead to complications. They are telling you that you need to do membrane strip sweep to go into spontaneous labor, to avoid induction, to avoid C-section, especially for first-time mom. But in reality, this exact procedure can cause your water to break, and if your water breaks and your body is just not ready for labor, and your baby is not ready because the baby is the one who starts labor and releases certain hormones, then you're gonna have to be induced. Every induction has a lot of downsides and can lead to lots of consequences, lots of interventions, which oftentimes lead to c-section if you are a healthy young woman if your pregnancy is not complicated in any way you absolutely don't need a membrane sweep it's traumatic physically and mentally but also it's not really proven to help there is no data proven that sweeping your membranes will actually help you to go into spontaneous labor and avoid intervention and c-section before 40 weeks and i was offered sweep around 37 weeks first of all you need to know that this has to be agreed on and you need to give your consent oftentimes doctors do this without asking their patients while doing just a cervical check in the end of your pregnancy so when i realized that my doctor is too much into interventions i actually refused cervical checks at all because they are also not necessary they don't give a full picture and they absolutely are not needed before you're in labor a long story short i end up giving birth at 39 weeks and five days as a first time mom and everything was great until it wasn't which we still don't know and everybody tells us that there was nothing we could do about it but my daughter swallowed the fluid while being born my labor was pretty fast on its own i was in the hospital for about one hour and 20 minutes before she was born. That happens with fast labors. So she went to NICU and thank God that was not an infection because my water was not broken, but she was put on antibiotics. She was intubated and that was an extremely traumatic experience. And let me tell you what, if I would agree for a membrane sweep or for an induction that she was pushing as well, I would totally blame what happened on that. Because sometimes kids are just not ready to come out and there are different kinds of complications during labor or after birth that you can avoid by simply letting your body do it thing letting the baby grow until it's fully cooked and giving mama's body signal about okay now i'm ready to be born releasing the hormones if you are first time mom especially if you're like 40 weeks and they are talking about inducing you at 41 and a half weeks and you want to try something softer you need to make informed choice and understand what it can lead to because you can really go until 42 weeks it is complicated because there are pros and cons to each at that point but if we're talking especially before 40 weeks is there is no reason for you to give birth earlier than 40 plus weeks besides being a first time mom hello like since when that the condition i would just refuse membrane sweep along with cervical checks second time around i was with a different doctor she accepted everything i was refusing or preferring with no judgment she made me feel comfortable and i was comfortable doing cervical checks and actually i was doing them because it was my second child and my first labor was very fast and i needed to know how dilated i am why i say that the cervical checks don't make sense because you can go from one centimeter to 10 centimeters in half a day or in two weeks I was pretty anxious about having a toddler and needing to rush to the hospital and I wanted my husband to be there so I needed childcare, I needed someone to stay with her in case we need to rush to the hospital so I really 
was wondering how many centimeters dilated I am because I was having a Braxton Hicks all over the place and I was feeling like it's gonna start soon. That helped me in a way because I was three centimeters and I was four centimeters and I was four and a half centimeters. And that's the day when my doctor said, you know, come into my office that is in the hospital tomorrow. And if you are a little more than I'll just check you in. And what happened? Next day I come and I'm six and a half centimeters dilated, having contractions full on, uh, walking, um, feeling okay-ish. And then I got admitted and later the day I delivered. I think another very important mantra and truths that you need to soak in to be strong and don't give in to those recommendations to do sweeps, seductions or whatever it is, especially before 40 weeks. You are made to give birth. Your body is capable. If there is no complications with your pregnancy or your health or baby's health, which in most cases that's what it is, please let your body do its thing and just let the baby lead you let, let the baby be born whenever they feel ready because in my opinion that's the best way to avoid any consequences however what life taught me is that even when you try to do all natural and control what you can control there are uncontrollable things like the fact that my child swallowed fluids and had to be admitted to a NICU and I seriously don't know how much I would be blaming myself my doctor my choices and everything that I would think put my baby into such a suffering if I were to accept induction, if I were to accept the membrane sweep because I would think that my baby was just not ready to come out and we just enforced it and used it and that's what caused it because in so many cases that's exactly the reason. So I really encourage you to educate yourself, make informed choices, remember that it's your body and this body is made to make babies and made to give birth. Before letting a doctor check you, touch you or anything, ask what is it going to be done and just listen to your mama intuition. Have an easy pregnancy and easy birth and I will see you in this video.